campers, this is Darren with My RV Works. Today we're in Palsbo, Washington, and we're working on this Norcold uh, 2118 refrigerator. Now, we have a suspicion that the thermistor is bad. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you how you test your thermistor if you suspect that. Um, symptoms of the thermistor that you might consider might be bad is that your refrigerator is like either arctic cold or it's like thermonuclear hot, but it's not able to maintain that temperature. So what you need to know is how to check your thermistor. So to test your thermistor, what you're going to need is an ice bath, uh, firstly. And so as you see, I've got a cooking thermometer in here, and it's telling me that my water temperature is at 31.8 degrees, so 32 degrees. And my thermistor is, is in the water, submerged under the water. Now here for Norcold, they provide a, a sheet. Uh, I just Basically, I just printed these out of their manual, okay? Put it in a laminated thing. And... Um, so at 32 degrees, I should get a resistance that's a K, which means a thousand, of 30 to 32,000 ohms of resistance from my thermistor, okay? And as you see, as the temperature goes up, my resistance goes down, okay? So at 32 degrees, I expect to get an ohms value of 30 to 32,000 ohms, okay? So I'm going to connect my meter, and we're going to see what, we're gonna, what the value is. Okay, so on these thermistors, you see, you have the side here that plugs in to the um, the refrigerator, and then you you want to, if you can, come in from the back side because you don't want to stick your meters in this side and damage those pins. So if you can, come in from the back side. Now from that thermistor, I'm getting uh, there's a glare, um, 113 thousand ohms. Okay, so that's not even on my on my chart here. Okay, so that thermistor is bad. So we have a new thermistor here. And uh, so let's see the value. Both of these thermistors have been floating in this ice bath. And again, a thermistor, if you've watched my other videos, is a resistor that changes its value based on temperature. Okay, so as the refrigerator is warming and cooling and going through its cycles, the thermistor is giving an analog value back to the control board telling it what we interpret as warm and cold. He's just sitting in an analog value. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change those leads over to this thermistor here, and um, we're going to see what this value is. So now that I've changed my leads over to the other thermistor, we have 31.05 thousand ohms. And isn't that right within spec? So we just showed you how to test your thermistor. We have a known bad one, and we have a good one. And um, you use your meter in your ohms value using your chart, and that's how you would check your thermistor. Okay, so if you have a Norcold refrigerator, um, the thermistor, here's your part number right there. And uh, let's see, ours is uh, $16.59, but you might be able to get them higher or less, whatever. But there's your part number for it. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. If it is, give us a thumb up, subscribe to it, share it with a friend. Happy camper, say, My RV Works. This is Darren signing off.